guys welcome back to another episode of colton posey fishing and today we're going to talk about everything shaky heads um i know a lot of you guys love using shaky heads but i've had a lot of questions about how i use them and so on and so forth my setups and all that so i kind of just want to clear all that stuff up so guys stay tuned So let's start with my setup. So the setup that I use for my shaky heads, I like a good medium heavy rod, whatever you prefer. I like a ducket black ice, but um, um, there, there's a few different variations of shaky heads that I use, and there's reasons to all of it. So um, one of the biggest things, I like a high speed reel. Uh, so any spinning reel that you like that's high speed, I throw, to lose just because you can get a less expensive reel at you know it's a good price point six two to one gear ratio um the dragon stuff's amazing on it uh the castability is great and i like using the eight pound cigar smackdown high vis braid and i like using um a fluorocarbon leader that's that's just what i like um that, that's all up to you if you don't know how to tie your braided line to your fluorocarbon um, I made a video, uh, just, you know, scroll on down, check it out, and I'll show you how I tie my knot and everything. It's a super tiny knot, never had any trouble out of it, really, really like it. But, um, why would you throw a shaky head? That's one of the questions that I get. Why would you throw a shaky head? The reason that I throw a shaky head is when I feel like those fish have become lethargic, and they're not necessarily wanting to eat, but I'm able to give them a presentation that is almost hard not to eat, if that makes any sense. So there's a few different shaky heads that I like to use. This one right here is a standard screw lock shaky head. It is a big bite baits, uh, horizontal line tie. It's got the screw lock. You just screw your worm up on there and then hook it in there and make it nice and straight and pretty and all that good stuff. Um, that's one of the shaky heads that I like. I throw uh, most of the time, I throw uh, Zoom trick worms on this. So, like this is the uh, Zoom motor oil chartreuse trick worm. I'll just put this thing on that screw lock, screw it up, uh, make sure, you know, my worm's straight and all that, and then go from there. That's what I throw on that shaky head. Now, the other shaky heads that I like to use, and guys, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, but I have no idea who makes this shaky head. But if you, it's basically the same thing as the one I just showed you, but there's no screw lock. And the reason for this is I will screw this worm or put this worm up on there, spin it around, and then you're gonna have a bow in the worm. Let me, let me just get one of these out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Make it easier. Okay, so basically that's the head of the worm. I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna go through the head, and I'll stop it about right there, right where it starts to bend. Push it all the way up, and then I spin it around, and then I take this thing, and I bend it just like this, and then pull it down. Now, if you realize, there's an arch in it. It's not very straight. There's a reason for this. When I rig this like this, and this, bait starts to fall it actually goes down in a spiral action obviously not that fast but it goes down in a spiral action what that does that triggers the bass a lot of times to feed the only reason that i throw this shaky head this type of shaky head with no screw lock when i'm throwing a standard shaky head and i cannot get bit I will throw this one right here because nine times out of 10, they're gonna hit it on that downfall. It gives off a completely different action. Everybody's throwing shaky heads, maybe. Maybe you got a tournament, everybody heard shaky heads is the deal. Happens on Smith Lake all the time. That shaky head right there will put a lot of fish in the boat for you. Now, let's talk about your river system, guys. Um, One of the shaky heads that has won me a lot of money put a lot of fish in my boat especially on the coosa river systems this is a yum pumpkin head okay this is a uh what is this a, it's a 3 16 3 out um uh, shaky head and 
if you can't tell, it's got a flat head on it. It's kind of curved, everything with the screw lock. It's got an EWG hook. And I run this thing, I don't run this on a spinning rod. I run this on a, like, a Texas rig. I'll have it on like a seven foot medium heavy, six eight to one, seven one to one gear ratio, something like that. And I don't rig it with any type of uh, um, trick worm or anything like that. I actually use the Yum Dingers. Um, you just screw it up on there, you'll push the hook through, Texas rig it like you normally would uh, uh, any kind of dinger or anything like that you was fishing. So, uh, the way this one shines, especially around spotted bass and smallmouth bass, because this thing will sit flat on bottom and stand, uh, if I can get it to stand in my curved hand, there you go, it'll stand straight up. And um, it just... It doesn't have a whole lot of action. I don't really know how to explain it. It doesn't have a whole lot of action to me in my mind watching it. It doesn't really make sense why they eat it, but they do. It, it's just a really good bait. I've kind of kept that in my pocket for a long time without pulling it out, and I figured I'd kind of bring it to you guys. Um, so another shaky head that I really, really like to use, and this is the one that I use 90% of the time um, just because it's so versatile, uh, and it catches... It catches big fish. This is a spot si spot sticker vertical line tie shaky head. Uh, this one's got the screw lock on it. Um, if you can't tell, it's got a longer hook. It's like a five volt hook. It sticks way down so I can put bigger worms and stuff on it and not have to worry about missing you know, a whole lot of fish. Maybe they're biting just right behind your hook. You can throw this thing on and uh, you're gonna hang up a lot more of the, those fish. But, the biggest thing to this is it's a vertical line tie. So what that does, I can go through grass, I can go through rocks, I can go through wood, I can go through anything that I want to go through and not have to worry about losing as many of these suckers. So I buy like a 25 pack of them and they'll last you, you know, depending on how much you use them, but they'll pretty much last me one or two seasons just depending on uh, how often I use them. And I'll tell you, I almost throw a shaky head just about every time I fish. Uh, just because when you get on that shaky head bite, it is a really, really fun bite, especially with spotted bass. So the worms that I actually like to use for the longer shaky head like that with the vertical line tie, this is the Magnum Shaky Head Zoom. Uh, or it's, yeah, Magnum Shaky Head Watermelon Red uh, Worm. They got, a, they got a few different colors. I mean, I'm just throwing you this color at. I like the Watermelon Red and the June Bug. Um, June bug when it's muddier water and the watermelon red when it's cleaner water. I mean, I, I keep it very simple. I buy three packs each and I stick them in one pack and I got them when I start getting low. I do the same thing. Um, but these right here, the way that I work them, I'll put it on the screw lock, make sure my worm's good and straight. I'll drag it across bottom. I'll dead stick it while it's dead stuck. I'll sit there and I'll shake, you know, just my line and the tail just sits there and moves through the water. It gives off a good action. <clears throat> those lethargic fish it gives them something to look at that they want to eat so that's uh that's a really really good um oh uh, setup but guys that's everything about shaky heads that's how i fish shaky heads that's my setups the whole nine yards um um well as far as baits you know i keep it simple i mean if i can put it on a shaky head i'll use it so um, I'm throwing crawls, I'm throwing worms. I mean, you can throw kind of whatever you want as long as it'll get up to the uh, uh, shaky head. So uh, one of the ones I really like, I like the Strike King Rage Tails. Uh, I, like the, uh, I like the Yum Christy Crawls. Um, flukes, a lot of people doesn't think about this, but the... Um, it resembles a dying bait fish really well. You can take and rig up a fluke on it. That, that works really well on a shaky head. Um, creature baits, deer in the spawn. That's a great time to throw a shaky head with a creature bait on it, throw it around them beds and stuff. Um, you know, you don't have to use spinning gear to throw a shaky head. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that won't throw a shaky head unless they're throwing spinning gear, but guys, I'm here to tell you, I mean, you can throw it on uh, casting reels and stuff like that all the time. I mean, I do it all the time. There's there's nothing wrong with it. The only time I downsize is if I feel like the fishery's getting a lot of pressure and I want that bait to have more action or look more natural in the water. Um, a lot of times you can get away with throwing just uh, throwing it on casting gear. It gives a, a different action. A lot of times it's for the better. So, um, guys, 
that's how I fish shaky heads. That's everything about fish or shaky heads that I know. So, hey, I appreciate you watching. Like always, if you feel like the content that I'm giving you is valuable, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Go down there and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you next time.